Morning, Casey. Can you just kind of walk us through what you've done in prep for Pro Day and how you've kind of gone about your business since the season wrapped up? Yeah, it's kind of been like almost essentially like an off season. I mean, obviously you're training for a track meet at the end of the day. You got to do the 5105 L drill and 40 and stuff like that. But you're still training for functional movement, training for offensive line specific training as well. So I would I approach it as the same thing as I would as in any off season, getting anabolic shape as well. That's that's always been a big part of my off-season routine, so it's definitely I, w I wouldn't change anything as far as not from an off-season. So it's it's, it's an off-season approach. Kind of going on top of that, is there anything specific you've been working on in your training, or just um, trying to get better in all the assets of the game? I'd say snapping is more than been, been a specific quality that I wanted to add to my game because I think that more importantly, playing all five positions is has definitely done a lot of offensive linemen in the league a, a, a world of wonders in terms of their playing ability. And so the best versatility is availability at the end of the day. So if I can play center and adding the addition of snapping into my game has been, uh, is going to do world of wonders for me. Was, was the snapping, was that something you kind of did on your own or are you hearing from people around you, our teams, like we want to see that you can be a, a center to just give you that versatility? Well, a plethora of both. I mean, when I first came to Florida State, it was told to me that they did want me to continue to snap. And I did express to Coach Atkins that I would want to snap as well. And so having that ability to, to play center here and being able to snap during practice and whatnot, and then also hearing from teams that they would want to see me snap and play center, that's, been a de that's definitely been like a, a, a conduit for me to want to start snapping as well. You said you practice it. Is it you snapping against a wall a hundred times a day, or five? how does that how does that work with you with you practicing snapping? It's everything. So going through the drills at 100 percent while snapping. I mean, like the only best the only best ability for me to be out there and practice snapping is going against somebody. But obviously you can't do that as of right now. But going through the drills 100 percent with with the ball in hand and snapping, understanding the calls, understanding the fronts and stuff like that, IDs and everything. That's what goes into the to the practice essential aspect is what I'm insinuating you're asking about. So there's a lot of things that, that go deeper into it than obviously just taking a towel and launching it between your legs and stuff like that. No, it takes, there's a, there's a ball change. There's, because NFL and college balls are two different things. And so working with my, my offensive line coach in Colorado, Chase really a, he's really allowed me to, to kind of understand the, the techniques, what I need to do, because when you're sitting there and you're playing at guard, it's a different set than when you're at center because you, at center you got to get you got to get to the depth of your guard, and so understanding that possibility, understanding the certain techniques that you have to do because every single position is different. When you're sitting at tackle, you're going against the dude that Pat Payton. When you're sitting at guard, you're going against a dude like Daryl Jackson. When you're sitting at center, like you have a head up head up nose, you got Fabian, so you got to get depth. And so understanding that there's multiplicities for the with the sets and understanding that, that was another step to learning. And practicing center as well. Can you just talk about how important the pro day is for you tomorrow and what it's going to be like performing in front of all the scouts? Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely important. It's a one of the, one of the most important job interviews of your life, I would say. And so just doing my, being being me, being being who I am, and 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 having the God God given ability that I have, it's it's definitely put on show for tomorrow. And and I appreciate God for everything that He's that he's allowed me to do up to this point. But no, it's, it's extremely important. All right, we'll stand on the left, go second row to Jack. There's a lot of depth and rotation this year on the offensive line. Did that prepare you well for the situation coming up for Pro Day? And just, you know, a lot of guys coming in and out and stuff like that, seeing a lot and, you know, possibly you know, doing different things. I'd say yes. I'd say that we were deep on the offensive line this year. I mean, being able to, to play eight, nine guys almost is, is huge for, for depth and also for saving bodies as well. Like, it's a, it's a long season. So being able to rotate and being able to, to play different positions also is, is huge. And so that's, that's exactly what you're going to have to do at the NFL level because not only the solidified 5% guys are playing one position in the NFL. So being able to play center, being able to play guard, being able to play the tackle is, is huge in terms of in terms of how you can benefit somebody's team and also somebody's locker room as well. So, but no, playing and being able to rotate, it's, it's coming in and out, line changing, I would, like, like, like you had said, is, is definitely a, it, it works. 
You mentioned going back to Colorado and working with your former coach. Have you been there the whole offseason, kind of talking through your training a little bit and what you've been working on with him? I did, yeah. I went back to Colorado. Mm -hmm. I, I went to Landau Performance. And so Landau Performance, I came in contact with them while I was at the University of Colorado. And they had, uh, I had reached out to them because I was coming back there to train. And they had an offensive line coach there at their facility that already does their training with Chase Rullier. I didn't know him previously. I knew of him, though, because he played with the Washington Commanders for, for five to six years. And so I was, I was psyched about it. I was, I was happy about it. And, and he's done a lot, of, a lot of good work for me for, for the amount of uh, training that I've been with him. So I'm, I'm, really, I'm really excited about it. You were here, I guess, for about a year. Can you just, I know this is a hard, loaded question, sum up your year at Florida State and did it go? I know the selection thing did not go how any of y'all wanted, but the season itself in your time here go exactly how you envisioned it or close to how you envisioned tenfold. it? Tenfold, tenfold. I mean, regardless of how it ended, I mean, when, when adversity strikes you, that's, that's that's how you are as a person. You gotta You got to be able to adapt to it. And I mean, like, Playing with that last game with my brothers was, was, an, was an extremely, extremely important part, an important piece of why I came here. But as you said, with, with, with coming here, there's, it, it, it was everything I wanted. Being able to play at a high level football, being able to play in, in high level games when, when the stakes are so minuscule and every single mistake is taken for granted. I mean, like being able to do that and being able to be a part of something that was so special, especially to this university, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm forever in debt to it. And so being able to come here and play for Coach Norvell and Coach Atkins, that was truly one of the greatest experiences that I've, that I've ever had. And that's no testament to the, to the other coaches that I've had in the past. But being here, being at Florida State is something special. And when you, put on the, when you put on the jersey, when you put on the pads, going out to practice, you don't really think about it until you're out into a game and you see 85,000 people doing the war chant. That's, you, you don't even think about it. But that, that's truly something special. And so to say that, it, that, that this experience was, was not what I wanted it to come out to in terms of the end, it, completely not. I got to learn so many new things, meet so many new people, and, and, and be a part of something that was truly, that's truly special. Anything else? All right, thank you, Casey. Thank you, I appreciate you, guys. Good luck, Casey.